It's a very interesting topic and very crucial for those who aspire to become computer programmers. In the unit, we have discussed basic concepts of programming languages and this is a continuation of the previous videos. But before we move ahead, I want to ask a question. What do you understand by the term high-level languages? Well, high-level languages are programming languages that enable a programmer to write programs that are more independent of a particular type of computer. It means it has strong abstraction from the details of the computer and the amount of abstraction provided will define how high level the programming language is. In other words, these languages are considered high level because they are closer to human languages and far away from machine languages. In contrast, assembly languages are considered low level because they are very close to machine languages. Therefore, high-level languages provide a richer set of instructions and support, making the programmer's life even easier. Yet, before a high-level program can be executed on a given CPU, it must be translated back to the machine code. As we have already discussed in the earlier videos, computers understand only binary language. Binary language is a language of zeros and ones. Each word in the human language is written as a binary code in machine language. However, it is very difficult to remember the binary code for each word. Hence, some languages were developed in order to ease communication between human beings and computers known as high-level languages. Advantages of high-level languages include It provides better portability It provides richer data types and memory management It provides natural structures for expressing flow of control It provides much better support for software maintenance It provides much better support for software reuse There are many high-level languages but the commonly used are Fortran, Lisp, Algol, Cabol, Basic, Snobgol, Pascal, Prolog, C, C++, Java, C Sharp, Visual Basic, and Python. Generally, high-level languages are classified into three categories which are procedural programming languages such as Fortran, Algol, Pascal, Kabul, and C. Functional programming languages such as Lisp, List Processing, and object-oriented programming languages such as C++, Java, and Python. The most famous and early imperative high-level languages are Fortran, Kabul, and Algol 60. We will now have a look at the languages in each category. Starting with procedural programming languages. These are also called imperative languages. This language specifies a series of well-structured steps and procedures within its programming context to compose a program. It contains a systematic order of statements, functions and commands to complete a computational task or program. The first one is Fortran. Fortran is also known as formula translation. This is a general purpose imperative programming language that is appropriate for numeric and scientific computations. Mathematics has a lot of formulas which are not understandable by computers. Fortran is used to convert all mathematical formulas into programming con code which can be executed by the computer. Hence, Fortran was designed to allow translation of mathematical formulas into code. The language has several features which include It is easy to learn and use. It is machine independent, hence it can be used on several computers. 
It also enables complex mathematical formulas to be expressed in coded form. It is a problem-oriented language. It means that more focus and emphasis is put on the problem. Lastly, it is also efficient at program execution. Next, let's talk about Algol. Algol is also known as algorithm language. It is also part of imperative programming languages designed to carry out scientific calculations. Algol was the first block structured language to introduce keywords and user defined data types. Let's take an example of Algol code to print Hello World. Here, begin and end are used as reserve words. Outstring is used to print. Two is written here because string have two words. Pascal. Pascal is also known as pattern analysis, statistical modeling and computational learning. Features of Pascal include, it has many constructs of Algol, it is a strongly typed language. It also supports object-oriented programming. Skype is an implementation of Pascal. Let's take an example of Pascal code. Here, begin and end is same as Algol's code. The only difference here is that there is no punctuation after the begin and program start with program keyword. Here, written and written words are used to display the message on the screen and to remove it from the screen respectively. Kabul. Kabul is also known as common business oriented language. It is imperative, procedural and object oriented language. Kabul is primarily used in business, finance and administrative systems for companies and governments. Common features of Kabul include It is user-friendly and easy to use. It is populated in business applications that Fortran could not tackle. Let's take an example of Kabul code. This language structure consists of divisions to execute the statements. For example, Stop, Run is a statement for exit. Last, but not the least, is C language. C is a general-purpose, high-level language that is very simple in syntax. It was originally developed by Dennis M. Ritchie to develop the Unix operating system at Bell Labs. C was originally first implemented on the DEC PDP-11 computer in 1972. The Unix operating system the C compiler and essentially our Unix application programs have been written in C. C has now become a widely used professional language for various reasons. It is easy to learn. It is a structured language. It produces efficient programs. It can handle low level activities. It can be compiled on a variety of computer platforms. Simply print F is used to print something. Let's see this. C program which represents the code in blocks. This program has different blocks. That is why this language is called block structured language. Apart from this, it is more code optimized language as it has the feature of flexibility. Can you try and see more codes of such kinds on your own? Thank you.